into new realms and dimensions in him. And I believe, God, that something new will begin to happen in our lives from this prayer encounter. He said, for 28 days, let them come together the whole days of February. Pray, pray, pray. And he specifically said to me, he said, pray the people into new seasons and pray down new realities. Pray the people into new seasons. Pray down new realities. Because in God, nothing is impossible. In God, all things are available. Whatever we are not yet experiencing, whatever seems to be beyond our reach, out of our reach, we can pray it into our lives. Because in him, nothing is impossible. In God, anything can be prayed down. In God, we can pray ourselves into any realm, into any dimension, into any face that we want, into any dimension. So he said to me, he said, pray into new seasons, pray down new realities. And that's what we are doing by the Spirit of God from today, even until the end of February. Because I believe God, that from the season that we pray, from even from today, all through the end of the year, one thing you will enjoy from men after now is the statement of congratulations. Congratulations. It shall be clear to people after this prayer encounter that you have entered something new, something big, something great in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, from this prayer encounter, it shall be clear that the glory of God is now evident on your life, evident on everything you are a part of in the name of Jesus Christ. So we are praying ourselves into new seasons. We are praying ourselves into new realities because the power of God can activate anything. The power of God can create anything. The power of God can recreate anything, anything. If we would just be present on the altar of prayer, if we would just be present on the altar of prayer, what we can experience above everything else is the release of the power of God that brings change. The release of the power of God that causes things to turn around the release of God's power. And we're trusting God to bring us into this dimension, into this realm, in the name of Jesus. And I believe that as we pray, one thing we are doing in the place of prayer, we are saying goodbye to many things. Goodbye to many things. Goodbye to shame. Goodbye to reproach. Goodbye to smallness. Goodbye to a life of average. We are saying goodbye. Now let this be settled in your heart as we are praying. We are saying goodbye to many things in the name of Jesus. We are saying by the help of the Spirit, we are coming into new experiences, new seasons, new seasons in the name of Jesus Christ. Precious Lord, we thank you. Thank you, Abba Father. This is unto you. We are not gathered to see a man. We are not gathered for any individual. We are gathered because you called us to gather. You called us to gather. Unto you alone shall the gathering of your people be. You called us to gather. There is something you are up to. There's something you want to do. There's something you want to fix. And we are privileged to know we are a part of it. We are privileged to know that you've considered us for this change. You've considered us for this release. You've considered us for these impartations. And precious Lord, we thank you. We ask oh God that we spend these days of February on the altar of prayer. Oh, let there be transformation experiences in the name of Jesus. Pull us out of the old. Pull us out of average. Bring us into your best in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We ask for grace to wait on you all through the days of this month. The grace to stay on the altar of prayer. The grace to wait on you and the grace to experience the releases from above in the name of Jesus Christ. We thank you, precious Father, because you have answered us. For in Jesus' matchless name, we have prayed. And God's children said, I believe in a glorious amen. Hallelujah. 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 Please, just like me, refuse, refuse to leave this prayer altar the same. Refuse, refuse to leave this prayer altar the same. Something has got to go and something has got to come. We are here for change. 
We are here for change. Refuse it. Refuse it in the name of Jesus. Refuse to leave this prayer altar the same. Refuse. Releasing the power of God into all areas of your life. Refuse to leave this the same. Let it be settled in your heart that this month of February, as I stay with God, every form of impossibility, difficulty in my life will go in the name of Jesus Christ. Remember what God says we're doing here. We are praying down new seasons. We are praying down new realities. New seasons, new realities. Psalm chapter 30 verse 7. Psalm 30 verse 7. We just spent about 30 minutes or so together. 30 or 40 minutes there about together in the place of prayer and we are done. Thank you, precious Father. Once again, thank you to all those who are joining us from all over. Thank you for being a part of this. God bless you. The Lord honor you. The Lord grant your heart's desire in the name of Jesus Christ. Psalms 30, verse 7. Make sure you have a Bible with you now, please. Let's have church. Okay, get a Bible with you. Psalms 30, verse 7. I'd like to read a couple of translations. I'll read from the complete Jewish Bible. I'll read from the whole man's Christian Bible. I'll read from the New Living Translation, just to show you a couple of, 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 of expressions of the scripture. Psalms 30, verse 7. Let's begin from the New Living Translation. It says, your favor, O God, made me as secure as the mountain, the favor of God. Your favor, O oh God, made me as secure as a mountain. Your favor, O oh God, made me, made my life, made my destiny as secure as a mountain. Your favor, not my location, not my relationships. Your favor made me as secure as a mountain. Now see what the whole man's Christian Bible says. He said, Lord, when you showed your favor, you made me stand like a strong mountain. When you showed me your favor, after this prayer encounter, as the favor of God comes upon you, you will stand strong like a mountain, immovable, not living with fear, not intimidated by any circumstance. In the name of Jesus Christ, he said, Lord, when you showed your favor, you made me stand like a strong mountain. Now, see what the complete Jewish Bible says, I love this one. It says, when you showed me favor, Adonai, I was firm as a mighty mountain. I was firm. I was firm. I was firm by the favor of the almighty God. The King James will tell you, by thy favor, thou hast made my mountain to stand firm. Friends, before we pray tonight, just to make us understand this so we can understand, uh, understand what God is saying in the place of prayer as we pray. Now, when you pray, let pictures invade your heart. When you pray, let pictures, the pictures of heaven, the pictures of God, the pictures of the power of God, of the possibilities of God, invade your heart as you pray, as you pray. Now, listen, there is an advantage in God, and it's also an advantage from God that is called favor. It's an advantage in God. It's an advantage. It's an advantage. It's a realm that you move into. It's a realm you move into in God, in God. Listen, for every child of God, every believer, there is a dimension of favor that they enjoy. But listen, the more you press into God, the more you press into higher dimensions of the favor of God. When the favor of God comes upon the person, their life becomes different. Their experiences become different. It's an advantage in God. It's an advantage in God. Now, now, another way to explain the favor of God is the delight of God. When the delight of God comes on you, there was a way Moses explained it. In number 6, verse 25, Moses explained it in a certain way. He said, the Lord caused his face to shine on you. The Lord caused his face. Now, now, the delight of God that overwhelms a person, it makes men and women to help you. It makes people to help you. Friends, in this journey of life, one thing you cannot take away is what we call divine assistance. You can't take it away. You've got to keep praying it down upon yourself. Divine assistance. And that's what we're doing today. We are praying down new seasons, the season of favor. 
We are praying down the favor of God. We want to experience this in a strange order, a strange dimension, the favor of God. Now, listen, the favor of God, and this one, a lot of showing me this a couple of hours ago, I had to put it down just to share with us before we pray. The favor of God is not limited to material benefits. Now, the primary assignment of the favor of God is to make you enjoy rest. The primary assignment, the primary ministry of the favor of God is to make you enjoy rest, rest, rest. So they are manifestations of God's favor, manifestations, expressions of God's favor that brings people into various forms of rest. In the name of Jesus, may you come into rest. In that area you desire, may you come into rest. Even as we pray today, by the expressions of God's favor, may you come into rest, into rest. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now listen now, friends. One of the manifestations of God's favor, please listen to this. One of the manifestations, when the Lord showed me this, it blew my mind. One of the manifestations of the favor of God is God putting on people a burden to pray for you. Yeah. One of the manifestations, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, a, 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 a major secret by which people escape mysterious attack, someone is praying for them. God has put on someone a burden to pray for them. It's an expression of favor. It's an expression of favor. When God puts on a people, a body, on a person, a body to pray for you, when God raises voices to pray for you, there are battles you come out of mysteriously. Mysteriously, there are conclusions of the devil that never comes to pass. There are conclusions of hell. They never see the light of the day. Listen to me, child of God. It is good to pray for yourself. It is good. But there's a dimension of lifting that you get into when God raises voices that carries your issues. God raises voices that carries your issues. They just carry a burden to pray for you. Now, it's an expression of God's favor. They just carry a burden. So when we are praying for the favor of God, understand this. This is one of the manifestations of the favor of God. God just gives people a burden. Some of them may be close to you. Some may not be close to you. There are some you don't know, but they know you. In the place of prayer, in the place of prayer, the Lord just give them a body to pray for you. They may not even know the specific prayer points to pray, but the more they open their mouths to pray, the Spirit of God will make a perfect intercession. Just begin to give them the right words. And people begin to pray. You begin to surprise, they get surprised and amazed how certain things start happening in your life, how certain order, order visitations start happening. God is raising voice. God is raising people. He has touched the heart of people who just begin to lift up your issues. Now, it is good to pray for yourself. It's good. That's what we are doing tonight. But it is, it is sweeter when God also raises people as you are praying. God has raised people who pick up your issues. They pick up your issues. They take it upon themselves. The Lord, for this person, let there be a change in this area. Lord, for this person, you are putting a burden in my heart. I want to hear a, 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 a testimony. I want to see a change. Listen, listen. This is an expression of God's favor. Favor is not limited to material things. Don't forget. I said a, a major ministry of the favor of God is to bring you into rest is to bring you into rest. So when God touches the heart of people and they begin to pray for you, they make you a, a ministry. They make you a focus. It's an expression of God's favor at the creed by the Spirit of God. Even as we pray this season in the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord touch the heart of strategic people for our sake. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the Lord touch the heart of strong men and women for our sake. In the name of Jesus Christ, even as we spend time in the place of prayer this season, I decree every form of disfavor, every form of disfavor that has expressed itself in any dimension against you, it is consumed by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Every expression of disfavor, every expression of hatred, every expression of the wickedness of the, of the devil that has found expression in your story, causing men to look away from you, causing women to despise you, I decree it is consumed by the power of the Holy Ghost, consumed by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus Christ, through this encounter, 
the grace and the glory of God comes afresh on you. The grace and the glory of God comes afresh on you. The grace, the grace, the grace, this advantage of God, the grace and the glory of God, this advantage, this unique advantage of God, this blessed advantage of God, it comes afresh upon you and upon me in the name of Jesus Christ. This advantage of God that makes men enjoy advantage in life, it comes upon you, it comes upon me in the name of Jesus Christ that from this Day, even as we pray from today, relevant men and women will pick interest. A strange burden of the Lord will come upon men for your sake. A strange burden of the Lord will come upon men for your sake. And the Bible showed us how a man was paralyzed and Jesus was ministering somewhere. And four men, they came together and they said we will not rest until you get your testimony the bible said they tried to come through the door there was no space through the door and they took the man through the roof and they tore the roof they tore the roof this is god putting burden on the heart of people putting burden on the heart of people i pray that this expression of the favor of god will become evident in your testimony from today that the lord will put on people a burden for you a burden for you a burden for for you in the place of prayer, in the place of help, in the place of recommendation, a burden, a burden from the Lord is coming on people for your sake, a burden from the Lord for everyone with a vision. Everyone with a dream, everyone with a project, a decree, I agree with you today. The Lord is putting on people a burden, a righteous burden for your sake. The places you try to enter and not been able to enter, the Lord is putting on men and women a burden for you. I'm decreeing it right now. The Lord is putting on men and women a burden for you. People who have access more than you. People who have connections more than you. People who have a voice stronger than yours. The Lord is putting Putting on men and women, Iko Balahasa, Lero Shakwan de Bratade, Hilaron Sheru Kapan de Suratata, Elegrus Kapan de Sogras Katai. The Lord is putting on men and women a burden for you, a burden for you in the place of intercession, in the place of prayer. The Lord is putting on men and women a burden for you. At some point in time, Peter found himself in prison. He could not pray, but the Lord has put on men and women, a burden for him. The man was in prison. He was tired. He was sleeping. But how did he come out of prison? The Lord had put on men and women a burden to pray for him. I decree the name of Jesus one of the testimonies and expressions of the grace of God that we are leaving this prayer altar with is the Lord putting on men and women a burden for us, a burden for us, a burden for us in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you, precious Father. Now we're going to spend a few more minutes in prayer. Don't forget, please listen as you pray. This is what the Lord says we are doing. We are praying new seasons. We are praying new realities. We are praying new seasons. We are praying new realities by the Spirit of God. Hallelujah. 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 Now listen, the first expression we're, we're taking at the place of prayer, the first prayer point, in the name of Jesus, I decree that the hand of God is upon my life. From today, my life becomes easy. My life becomes easy. This hardship from today by the hand of God. Remember, we are praying new realities. We are praying new seasons. Forget about what happened before. We are praying new realities. From today, my life becomes easy. By the power of the Holy Ghost, my own becomes easy. In the name of Jesus, my life becomes easy. My own becomes easy. As I pray this day in the name of Jesus, I decree the hand of possibility. The hand of the Almighty God is upon my life. Life. From today, from today, my life becomes easy. My own becomes easy. You will call the area you want the grace of God to rest and settle on. My life becomes easy. Would you open your mouth and just plug into prayer now? Just begin to pray in the name of Jesus. I decree that the hand of God is upon my life. From today, my life becomes easy. Would you open your mouth and begin to pray? Pray down new seasons. Spread new possibilities. 
Pray down the power of God. Pray down the glory of God upon your life in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that the hand of God is upon my life. From today, my life becomes easy. The hand of the Lord is upon my life from today. My life becomes easy. The infection of the power of God. My life becomes easy by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power of the Holy Ghost, my life becomes easy. I pray myself into a new season, a season of ease. There is grace for much more. There is grace for much more. I assess it today by the power of the Holy Ghost. My life becomes easy. He cut over yata, a lebrukata yata, a lebrukadasha. That which makes this hard for me is displaced by the power of the Holy Ghost today. He cut over yata baha. That which brings a negative difference to my own is displaced by the power of God today. I arise in power. I arise in glory. He cut over shata yata, lebrukadong seruta mayata, a lebrukapande sogani kati. I step into a new expression of the manifestation of the hand. Of God, my life becomes easy. My life becomes easy. My life becomes easy. My life becomes easy. Kaya de kosha, ipada bayada baye kabanasi. Rayan de sogato bayata, ilabrega de bendo sogata bayata. Elabele bendo tsunami ano kosha. Lala shakata, ilaya shakatwa, ilaya shakatwa. Eruka dosi akapa, ipara don de koratina. Rokadosia Kabade, he got a band de Kobalikata, Shatatela, Shatatela, Elekatebanda, he can't go to Korata, Rokadabaka, Rekadeba, Elekatebeta, the Brukadeta, Rukadoneka, the Sukadeta, Rekadeba, Rekadabaka, the Brukadebe, Rekadabaka, the Brukutuban, the Kalepeta, Elekatabele Kobalete, Rekadabele Kadoshakata. My life becomes easy. By the power of the Holy Ghost, my life becomes easy. My life becomes easy. My life becomes easy. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. In the victorious name of Jesus. In the victorious name of Jesus. Remember we said, one of the expressions of the favor of God is that the Lord touches the heart of people who just take up a burden. Friends, listen, listen. It is a, a dimension in God that we need to pray ourselves into. Now, we want to take this in the place of prayer. Please remember, we are praying new realities. No matter how your life has been before, listen, from this day, change has come. Change has come. No matter what you've enjoyed in God, there are new realities in him. There are new seasons in him. From this day, upon this mountain, in the name of Jesus, change, change has come. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now we are still praying. Lord, as I pray, 
touch the heart of men and women for my good. Lord, as I pray, touch the heart, Itabalasia, touch the heart of men and women for my good. Touch the heart of men and women for my good. Touch the heart, Lord, as I pray, at the name of Jesus, touch the heart of men and women. Touch the heart, raise up a righteous body in the heart of men and women for my good. Raise up a righteous interest of men and women for my good. In the name of Jesus Christ, would you open your mouth and pray right now? Lord, as I pray, in the name of Jesus Christ, by your favor, touch the heart of men and women for my good. Raise up a righteous body, stay up a righteous fire in the heart of men and women for my sake. Stay up a righteous fire, stay up a righteous body. Iko balasida lepreka de penga de broko dosha akada baka to elakata beka de be ruka to beka de baka de preka de de elakata baka de ba ando suka ta lepreka de doka ika palaka pa ika palaka de ba me lepreka de pele de broka de shayata Lord God stay up a righteous fire a righteous fire a righteous fire a righteous fire in the heart of men and women for my sake stay up a Righteous body, Ika yada bagasha, manto kapela kopa lekata, ilekata beleka kukapata, erekata bende sugalete, Ika manda sa, agrunda kapa, agrunda kapa, agrunda kapa, agrunda kapa, agrunda kapa, erekata baka da preka da ba, irekata ba shataya, irekata ba shataya, irekata ba shataya, irekata ba shataya, elekata ba ando soya, Lord God the heart of men and women from the fuck of the earth, Ikabaleka to Bayata, stay up in them, a righteous fire, a righteous passion, a righteous desire, a righteous interest for my sake, for my destiny, for my issues, for my joy, for my rest, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Kabela Kobayata, Mashada Bayade, Mashada Bayade, Mashada Bayade, Mashada Bayade, Elebele Belado Seruta Bayata, Imana Mano Seruka Pando Supreskete, Eleguana Guanda 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 Guatoria, Elegruna Kando Supreskate, Elabado Serada Bayata, touch the heart of men, touch the heart of women, stay up a righteous fire, stay up a righteous desire, stay up a righteous passion. For my sake, for my destiny, he could have got a senate and a brocade, he never got a brocade, he shall from the four corners of the earth. But those I know and those I don't know, he can't have a show my face to men, show my issues to men, show my needs to men, he can't buy a cobalia, a lebrocadon balato, he may lebrocadi, a bracado balato, he lebrocadi. Gadi bagonda bega to bayata, ele brogodonda sugata baha, ele brogodo bayata ha. Infect the heart of men for my good, infect the passions of men for my good, infect the visions of men for my good, infect the interests of men for my good. E kashudu manaka, ele kona bregada, e paradam bega tuna, rogada shata, e rogada bega da brogodo ba, e rogada bega da brogodo ta, e rogada bande sugata. I pray myself into new seasons of favor. I pray myself into new dimensions of favor. I cut a bayate, a leprocotomana, a lapracadabate, a lapracadabelate, a lapracadabelate, a quade suda, a quade lepe, a libra catona, a libra cate, lapracatiso catabalata, a lacadabalata, a rucatabando soa, inset the passions of men. Infect the desires of men, infect the dreams of men, infect the lives of men for my sake. He can so go to my touch the heart of strategic people, touch the heart of relevant people. Let men and women pick interest in me. Righteous desires, righteous interests, righteous passions in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. 
Rokoto saliko to baha. Imanamando sugas kata. Elebrogodon se ruga payata. For thou will arise. And have mercy on me. The time to save from me. Yeah, the set time has come. The set time has come. The set time for my increase. The set time for my advancement. He kobata payase. Elebrogodon. Imene mogoda. Imene mogoda. Rapa sobara. Rapa sobaya. Imene mekwande korofa. In the heart of men, in the passions of men, in faith, in faith, by your power, in the Procoto Balasia, in the Procoto Balasia, in the Procoto Balasia, in the Coto Balacasia, La Predeso, La Predeso, La Predeso, La Predeso, La Predeso, Rapata Pacata Bele. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now we want to pray. In the name of Jesus, I declare a season of favor over my life. I declare a season, a season of favor. A season of favor. All the expressions of favor. Would you open your mouth and begin to pray? I declare a season of favor. The season of the favor of God. From the place of prayer, I enter the season of favor. I declare 
Rakata on the Suda, Rakata da, Rakata Yakata Rekata, Rukata Nekata Supalepa, Iberakata and the Kurekata, Rekata Yakata Rukata Do, Sakoto Bayata, I declare the season of favor has come upon me. Ikapa Yakoba, a season of favor, and it's an endless season by the Spirit of God. Ikapa Yakabata, Makoto Bayakata, a leprocaton de Copala, a de Sobata. And la bruna man de corata, I orchestrated now from the place of prayer. I capela cruna pata, a la bruna bayata, I enforce it now from the place of prayer. A copali patea, in manapan de coba, bella precato, bella precato, bella precato, bella precato, bella precato, e cotopata, e cotopata, e cotopata, macora satia, macora satia, macora satia, e raso sonia, e la frete so. Kashatabaya, 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 Masato Lokoda, Ala Prakatoba, Masharabaya, Elebelebelebesha, Faila of the Almighty God, Kayana Masamba, invade my labor, invade my effort, invade my dreams, invade my vision, Faila, the multi dimensional expressions of the Favor from on high, Ikorobashada, beautify my life, make my mountain to stand firm, make my life to stand firm like a mountain, Ikapalika toba, Marusha tabalata, Ikapele kota bina, Marusha katolaba, Elebron de soga ba, Elebron de suga tia, Lafrika de bana, Elebrika de bega de bega, Maton de baya, Maton de baya, Maton de baya, in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ, Kabayada. Now we take this one now. By the hand of God, from today, the favor of God is rewriting my story. You get that declaration? By the hand of God, from today, the favor of God, rewriting my story. The favor of God is rewriting my story. The favor of God from today is rewriting my story. The favor of God is rewriting my story. The favor of God, begin to decree now as you pray. The favor of God from today is rewriting my story. The favor from on high is rewriting. Oh, come and open your mouth now. The favor. It doesn't matter who came before me. The favor of God is rewriting my own story. It doesn't matter what I faced years before. From today, the favor of God is rewriting my story in my career, in marriage, in business, in destiny. El Lebron de Pare Pasotona, El Gata Bacata Brugutuba, Maton Docoba, El Lecoto Cotosa, Acrum de Catecato, Acrum de Catecato, Ica Payapa, your favor is rewriting my story. Your favor, Ico Tobayapa, I decree it today. I position myself for it today. Ica Mano Payapa, from this prayer encounter, El Lebron Cotoba, there shall be new experiences, there shall be new. Other testimonies, the favor of God is rewriting my story. The favor of God is beautifying my life. The favor of God is making me stronger. Ikotomanasha, Ekotobayaba, Matabataba, Matabatala, Akolobrata, Ikodeke Sopa, Akrundo Kota, Ilebrakata Beka to Beleto, Arukata Pelete Sopa Late, Ikobala Siama, Lefrede Kosayata, Lefrede Kosayata. Let's read the Gosayata. Let's read the Gosayata. Ila Brana Sosalia. Ela Brogodos Yatama. Marosa Quata. Marosa Quata. Ico Topa. Ico Deporata. Ela Brogodobata. Imana Brondeswa. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Kalebo Hosa. Ele Brogodos Yakaba. Leprecades. Can you begin to thank him now? Thank him for the release of favor. 
Begin to thank him now. Oh, come on now. He's putting a righteous body in the heart of men and women for our sake. He's putting a righteous desire. He caught up by it. He's invading the prayer life of people for our sake. He's invading the dream life of people for our sake. He's invading the passions of people. Open your mouth, just give him praise. Change is taking place. Even from now, from now, from now, from now, from now, by the Spirit of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. Holy Ghost, I thank you. Thank you because you said this is what you are bringing us into. You told me, you said, son, from this prayer encounter, I am bringing you and the people into a season of my favor, a new expression of my favor. Lord, we receive it now in the name of Jesus, a new expression of the favor of God, invading the passions, invading the heart, invading the dream lives, invading the desires of men for our good, men and women picking a righteous interest in us in the name of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you. The season of struggling alone is over. The season of laboring alone is over. In the name of Jesus Christ, for every one of us, Lord, I decree a new order, a new order. Your grace and your glory invades our lives. And as we spend these days on the prayer altar, let it be clear, new seasons and new realities have been in first of our lives. New seasons, new realities, and first of our lives. New seasons, new realities, and first of our lives. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, let impossibilities be displaced forever. Let every challenge whatsoever be displaced by your power. In the name of Jesus Christ, invade the privacy of our lives. Invade our issues. Invade every dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ, let your power take over. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. Thank you, Spirit of God. Thank you, precious Father. We receive it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, your face shines on us. Your face shines on us. New experiences. We become the delight of men. We become the delight of women. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, precious Father. Our answers to prayers today. In Jesus' excellent name, we have prayed. And God's children who believe will shout and live in a glorious and powerful amen to the Father in Jesus' precious name. Now listen to me. These are days of the miraculous. These are days of the manifestations of the power of God. Believe me. These 28 days we are spending together, God told me clearly while praying for this. He said this would be days of miracles. This would be days of miracles. This would be days of miracles. So get ready for it. Expect it and you will see it. Get ready for it. Expect it and you will see it. Beginning from the expressions of favor. He said, I'm invading the heart. I'm invading the dream life. I'm invading the passions of men. I'm invading the focus of men for your sake. For your sake. For your sake. For your sake. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I must release us now. We're coming back much later today. 11.45, this is the first day, you understand how you can get in the first day, but from much later today, please, let's get as much people as we can to get part of, to be part of this. This is not about a church, it's just a prayer altar. We are just pressing into God, new seasons, new realities by the spirit of God from today up until the 28th day of this month of February. 
as we trust God to do a new thing in our life. The Lord bless you in Jesus' name. I'll see you in the next couple of hours. Go have a day of testimonies in Jesus' precious name. God bless you.